Q. Please list the lab experiments with a skeleton model. A. There are several lab experiments that can be conducted using a skeleton model. Here are a few examples. 1. Bone identification. Students can use a skeleton model to identify and label different bones in the human body. This can help them understand the structure and location of various bones. 2. Joint movement. By manipulating the skeleton model's joints, students can observe and understand the range of movement in different types of joints, such as hinge joints, knee, and ball and socket joints, shoulder. 3. Fracture analysis. Using a skeleton model, students can simulate and analyze different types of fractures. They can learn about the different classifications of fractures and how they affect bone stability. 4. Muscle attachment. Students can study the attachment points of muscles on a skeleton model by attaching rubber bands or strings to the corresponding areas. They can observe how muscles move and control skeletal movement. 5. Spinal cord and nerve function. By examining the spinal column on a skeleton model, students can understand the structure and function of the spinal cord. They can also learn about the relationship between the spinal nerves and different areas of the body. 6. X-ray interpretation. Using a skeleton model, Students can practice interpreting X-rays and identifying any abnormalities or injuries present. This can help develop their skills in diagnosing skeletal conditions. 7. Anthropology and Forensics Skeleton models are often used in anthropology and forensic science labs. Students can study the skeletal remains and determine information about the individual, such as age, sex, and possible cause of death. These are just a few examples of the experiments that can be conducted using a skeleton model. The specific experiments may vary depending on the level of education and the focus of the lab.